Hello Flip Noise users, today we're going to be looking at how to use a gate on a pad to give a stutter effect um, by side chaining to a trigger track. Um, so to do this I'm going to find a pad you can play this in via MIDI or you can use a loop. Um, I'm just going to copy this pad that I found already um, and I'm going to loop it at the end bit. The reason why the beginnings kind of got a fade in. So if you listen to the beginning, there's a fade in. I don't really want that. I just want the ending of it um, like this. Uh, and then we need to find out, find something to trigger. I don't need this top track, so I'm just going to delete that. Um, so you look for a drum beat, or you can use MIDI and play something in via ultra beat so that the keyboard is triggering the, the effect. Um, but just to show you the demonstration, I'm just going to use that beat there. Nice simple house beat. Uh, I might speed it up as well um, to something uh, around about 120 beats per minute. So we've got something like this. Um, and then um, we go on to the gate that we need to do. So um, to put a gate on, we just need to go on to the audio effects. So let me just make this so we can see the triggers and everything that we're working from. I've just put it so that the loop we're working on is quite big in the screen. Uh, so we've got two tracks. We've got the drum beat. And we've also got the pad. So we're going to click on the pad and we're going to place a gate on that. So you come down either in the mixer, so whichever one you click on, this light grey area will select the one that we're on. So we know it's this one. Uh, and we're going to go to audio effects and we're going to go to noise gate, which is in dynamic noise gate. If you've used it before, it'll appear in this recent tab at the top. Uh, so dynamic noise gate and stereo. Uh, this is our noise gate just here and we've got various controls threshold means when the volume reaches minus 50 db at the moment or minus 44 then it's going to the gate's going to kick in um, and it's going to open and let the sound through um, reduction means it's going to close the gate it's going to the door's going to be all the gate's going to be all the way closed so it's not going to be any sound um, half the sound is going to be through at this point um, and then we've got various attack hold and releases that I'll go through in a minute um, the important thing is the side chain so instead of when the pad reaches minus 50 DB the gates gonna open uh, instead we're gonna use a side chain and we're gonna choose the drum beat which in our case is deep impact kick beat audio one okay which basically means when the kick reaches minus 50 DB the gates gonna open and let the sound through at the moment the gate's closed it says there um, and there'll be a bit of tweaking that you'll see me do in a minute once it's playing so we'll just play that And I'll just, I'll turn the drums down so you can hear the actual um, gated effect just on the pad. So the speed in which that gate closes is the release. So if you, if we increase that, you'll hear the effect. The speed in which the gate opens is the attack. So it's like a door opening, how fast you open it. So I want it fairly fast, but with a release so it doesn't cut it off instantly. And if you want some of the original going through, you could put maybe put that on half. Uh, 
ahead and listen to it with the drum beat you're using. And that's it. So just to recap on the um, audio track that you want to gate, you simply go to dynamic effects and you choose the gate itself, um, which is usually in dynamic effects, noise gate. Um, and then once that's open and you can open it uh, using these buttons in the middle um, you can then set the threshold um, and uh, attack and release but make sure you chose the trigger track here and like I say if you wanted to play it in MIDI manually on the keyboard you could set up a MIDI track with say um, ultra beat with a drum it will depend on the length of the track there uh, the length of the sample so if it's a short snare, it'll be quite a short, short trigger. Um, and that is it.